That's right, I'm doing live action food videos now. I have a whole joke I was gonna say. And now I'm second guessing the whole thing. I don't care what all the voice in my head telling me that I need I need consistency, I need a brand. They're, those are probably the same voices that have been giving me crippling anxiety lately. So I'm not listening to those those voices there. My channel, I'm doing what I want, and uh, and today I want to talk about milkshakes. We're talking about history of milkshakes. We're gonna be making like three or four different kind of milkshakes, uh, going back all the way to the way way back history of milkshakes. When you think of milkshake now, you think of like uh, like ice cream and milk blended together. But we're not, we're not just doing that. It's hard to find information on this. When you see history of milkshakes, people talk about like the 50s and 60s, like the golden heyday of milkshakes. Uh, but no, we're going back to when they were like kind of shit. So in 1885, milkshakes were, uh, well, I, can't, I can't find any specifics, but they were an alcoholic whiskey drink. It's like an eggnog type consistency. And I found a few different recipes, that kind of, but not like recipes, just these are some ingredients that we think were probably in it. So we're going to start out with the worst one, and that is what I found on a, a, a video put out by Groupon.com. In the 1880s, milkshake was an alcoholic cocktail. Whiskey, tonic, and egg whites hand whipped to the consistency of nog. Whiskey egg white and tonic water whisked together until it's like an eggnog type consistency which I don't even think is possible. I haven't done this one before but we're gonna try it out. Um, it doesn't say what kind of whiskey. Some sources say that it was from like a British newspaper from 1885 but the whole thing seems pretty American to me. Um, so I went and picked up some uh, some bourbon. So we'll be using a, a bourbon whiskey. So I guess we'll just We'll just do what it says. Okay, so we have the egg white. I have no, I have, I have, there's no portions. I don't know what I should be doing here, but this doesn't, I don't, we're gonna put a little bit, of, just a, an amount of whiskey in here, I guess. Not that much, because I only use one egg yolk. And then tonic water, there's no way this is gonna be the consistency of eggnog. Just some? I, I don't want the, I don't want it to be too thin. In the, in the video, um, they just use like a spoon <laughs> to whisk it. I mean, I know it's B-roll, but that's what they that's what they used. So let's just whisk this together with a spoon. You can't drink that. Until I can drink this. Yeah, I can drink this fine. Until it's the consistency. This is this is not the consistency of eggnog at all. Okay, so here we have, Ugh. it's cloudy. It doesn't look like anything anyone should be drinking. I'm gonna give this a sip. I don't expect this to be good. Yeah, that's very drinkable actually. Really? <laughs> it's pretty mild, because it's whiskey and tonic water and egg, it actually kind of bounces out. It's, it's perfectly fine, but I don't know. I wouldn't drink this. Don't make this. This is bad. <laughs> what seems to make more sense to me, especially um, considering all the quotes say it's an eggnog-like substance, is just to make a whiskey eggnog. I haven't made an eggnog before, but I have a little recipe here, and I have a shaker. So we'll need uh, we'll need one egg. Put that right in there. One egg. Oh, first, well, you should really fill the whole damn thing with ice. That's kind of important. Two ounces of whiskey. Nice. One ounce of milk. Another ounce of cream. I've seen light cream sometimes. I've seen just cream. I'm a big boy. We're gonna go with heavy cream. And then we'll do uh, about a third an ounce of simple syrup. We'll call that a third. Simple as that. 
Got all our ingredients in there. I'm not like a professional or anything, but seems like you would do it like this. I didn't have it on all the way. <laughs> Was it shaken? It got shaken enough. It's the whole damn thing. It's pretty good. I mean, it tastes like an eggnog with whiskey in it. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely like an eggnog consistency. This makes more sense to me that this would be... This makes more sense to me that this would be what the original milkshake was. All right, so moving on from the 1885 uh, to about 1900 uh, milkshake, we're going to the 1900 to the 1922 version. There's that 20 year period where milkshakes are an alcoholic drink and before ice cream is really introduced and they really are like a milkshake. It's a milk drink shaken up. Okay, so this this is a milkshake that first, this is the one that first piqued my interest. This I saw on the uh, How to Drink channel. He's, he's got a video where he makes a milkshake for his kid. Great video, adorable video. But this made me think, huh, huh what about the milkshakes before we had ice cream? So that's what we're gonna make, uh, that's what we're gonna make today. And that is really just milk, uh, heavy cream, and some kind of, uh, of syrups that you might wanna add. So fill your shaker up with ice. I'll use about five cubes or so. Do you want it, Sarah? Do you want this one? Yeah. Okay, do you want do you want a maple one or a vanilla one? Maple. Maple? This this see Sarah made a really good decision here. Usually you just you just pop some vanilla extract in there. That's fine. That's good. That's a good right, that's a good milkshake, isn't it? It's yeah. good. Here's the thing about maple. It's such an underutilized flavor. Maple syrup? We just relegated it to breakfast. Give this a shot, because maple syrup goes great in any kind of dessert, especially what we're gonna make now. I just kinda eyeball the amounts for this one, but I'll I'll kinda I'll kinda estimate for you here. Give it uh give it like uh I don't know, ounce, ounce and a half heavy cream. That's gonna be really nice. That's gonna thicken it up. Then I don't know, two three ounces of milk. This isn't gonna be as thick as like an ice cream milkshake, but it's definitely gonna have some amount of thickness. Get some maple. Good old, get the real maple syrup. Don't get the fake shit. Get the real maple syrup. Um, how much of this do I do? Well, watch. This is how much I do. Yeah, it's like a quarter, third of an ounce. It comes out really subtle. Yeah, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't, it's not overpowering. It's really good. <laughs> and if you really have a sweet tooth like my wife, maybe just a little, a little, a little, a little simple syrup too. Just a little bit. That's on there, good. And then just shake it up. I mean, it, it is a milkshake, you know? Why do you think it's called a milkshake? Boy. Maple milkshake. I thought you said it was for me. That really is quite good. Here, you wanna try that? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. So that's the 1900 to 1922 version of a milkshake, but with maple. You don't want maple, substitute what I did for more simple syrup and some vanilla extract. Now we're talking about the milkshake that we know and love today. I really like the 1900, 1922, but honestly, it's hard to beat like just a good, you know, classic milkshake. In 1922, a Walgreens employee uh, wanted to make their molten milk drinks just a little, uh, a little, little cooler, a little more refreshing. So he added some, some ice cream to their molten milk drink. I mixed it all up. And then when the blenders came on the scene, I mean, milkshakes were all over the place. You make them at home, all the restaurants had it. I have procured from my dad, who just has a bunch of crap, I guess, an actual old fashioned Hamilton Beach milkshake mixer. These are still used today in restaurants. These are used all over the place. This is as simple as can be. Get some of your vanilla ice cream, three scoops, and then I don't remember how much milk they said. It seems that it's kind of up to you, the consistency, as long as it can actually mix. So we'll just put some milk in there. How's that? That's good. That's good? So okay. anything else go with it? No, that's actually, that's all it is. And let's just give that... This thing's gonna mix it all up. And then, you know, the, the trick with these is then you, you take it off and then you just move it around. So if you go to like a restaurant or something and they hand you that that big tin of uh, the rest of their milkshake. That's what the tin's for. Is that's what that's what they mix it in with one of these things. Ah. 
Oh, you know, that really is the best one. That's fantastic. Oh, it's frothy, it's thick, it's ice cream, it's melt. You can't beat this one, but give the other ones a try. Especially try the handshaking one. It's a lot of fun to do. Try with some maple. Try this with some maple. Why not? Throw it in there. So that's, that's me talking about milkshakes uh, for a little while. Thanks. <laughs> Hold